Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a requested video from Bombino Boss Babe. If you guys have been following me for a long time, I used to do a travel series on my channel. Um, my family loves to travel and with being a mom and having kids, I always overpack and um, sometimes I even underpack, but all the traveling that we've done, I've kind of come up with a system as well as items that will help my family out. The first kit that I'm going to show you guys is actually our first aid kit. Um, we plan on doing, um, God willing, we have the works of two trips coming up. Also, a dream of mine is to go on a cruise. So I always have, because we're always checking um, for cruises, and we're the type of people that do like to travel last minute as a surprise. And um, that's when you get the best deal on cruises, I've noticed. So I always kind of have something packed for a cruise as well. But for the two... Uh-oh, Frankie's kicking my... Um, He's over here sleeping next to me. Um, he's got to wake up anyway, so you guys. So, um, But um, for the two trips coming up, God willing, I've already packed our first aid kit. Now, you may recognize this bag from the Dollar Tree. You guys remember these bags? And um, like I said, this is my first aid. Of course, I have other kits um, as well. But this is my general first aid. You can even do this as a car kit. Now, I live in Texas. Right now, I could put this in the car. But our temperatures change. We're either really, really hot, really, really cold. If you live in a place somewhere like probably California, you could probably stick this in your car if you wanted. But I use this in my backpack. Um, if we're going to theme parks, zoos, airplanes, all of that fun stuff, this is the kit that I bring. So I like the Dollar Tree one because, as you can see, it's a little bit easier for me. So let me show you what I have inside. And I have a Neosporin, just in case me or any of the kids get cut. This stuff is expensive. Um, there have been many times we've had to stop at CVS or Walgreens, or some kind of store in another state, even if we're driving somewhere and had to buy something like this. And oh my, oh my gosh, it's so expensive. So, um, of course, I'd like to have, you don't need a new bottle. You can go through your first aid. And if you have a couple of them, they also have a really good one from Dollar Tree that you can get for a dollar that I recommend. But I have that. I also have anti-itch cream. This is basically like the Benadryl cream, as you can see. And this is from Dollar Tree. It works really well. There's, you know, it, it compares to the Benadryl. And my kids get bit um, from bugs. They're basically allergic to bug bites. They swell up. So um, I have this on hand. I also sometimes carry hydrocortisone cream which I will probably add in here. The reason why it's not in here is because in my home first aid kit, I only had one left. So um, I'll have to buy one and remember to put hydrocortisone cream. I also have a Vaseline lip therapy. Now this is also for dry lips, but you can use this for anything. It's basically petroleum jelly. Um, sometimes I put this on my kids bites as well. So after I put on the Benadryl cream, I'll just put a little uh, of this. Also, if they have boo-boos or anything, I even put the lip therapy just because it says lip therapy. Um, you can still use it as a petroleum. But as you can see, see? Petroleum. So, um, yeah, I carry that. Also, Vicks Rub. We, we all know it's always good to have some Vicks Rub. I have a little cute small container, so I like that. Um, when we travel, do I have the adult in here? I probably took all the adults. Um, yeah, I don't have the adults, actually. <laughs> Here's trash. Um, usually I'll put the adults in here, but Frankie, when we 
um, he gets car sick. And for me, when I'm riding the rides like at um, Universal or anything, um, I get motion sickness. And then again, like I said, I keep it for if we ever get on that cruise that I'm manifesting. But um, I carry this. I need to put the adult in here, but I think I'm out, so I need to um, pick it up. But this, I, this was one of those compulsive stops. Frankie kept getting car sick and throwing up in the car. We had to stop at CVS or Walgreens, one of them, without coupons, because when we travel, I'm not worried about coupons. And uh, yeah, but it come, it came in a cute little case, and um, so I have it. That I highly recommend to always have in your first aid kit back here there is a little um pouch let me make sure nope there's more stuff it's a deep pocket too okay so i just have a couple body cleansing wipes these are the secret ones it's always good to have these um and it's good to wipe up messes so have a few of these. I actually picked these up from Dollar Tree, but you can have any kind of little wipes um, that you have on hand to put in here. And then I just have one little lonely gauze, um, you know, just in case emergency. I'm going to skip this pouch and go on to the back here. We'll do this one last. So in the back, there's no extra pocket, which I wish there was, but there is a button pocket. And I'm just going to pull everything out for you. So I have two of these. I get these from the 99 when they have them. But they also have um, many different brands at many different places. But this is basically kind of like a Pedialyte. Um, they also carry the Pedialyte ones that I need to pick up. But if you're dehydrated, this is an electrolyte replenisher. This is great if you're in the parks, in the heat, on vacation, you're not used to the weather, um, humidity, that kind of thing. All you do is pour this in a water bottle and drink it, and you are good to go. Um, I even carry more than this. This is just in my first aid kit but I carry more in my bag of and like I said they have many different brands you can find these everywhere um I just like to carry these because airplanes and stuff you can't have um you know water going on the airplane so or like liquid so um those I highly recommend to always have in your first aid kit I am telling you guys even if it's adults and you don't have kids and you're planning on having a few drinks or even if you're not you don't know how many times I have gotten sick um, I've even had a kid get sick because of dehydration in the past I always always hydrate my family the day before we go to the parks as well as when we're at the parks and then the day after I have just a Purell hand sanitizing wipe. This is just a freebie that I got from Chick-fil-A. And I just threw it in here. I had one lonely one. I actually was going to put this in my purse. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to put it in my first aid kit. Because it's just a sanit hand sanitizing wipe. Then I have, it's always good if, you know, muscles pull your, you know, pull your back. What I use this for, and it's basically just, um, you know, muscle cream. And it's in a cute little, you know, sample pack. Save your samples, y'all. But um, what I use this for me personally is when we go to the parks or travel or anything, my legs hurt so bad because, you know, I'm a stay-at-home mom and I'm always at home. So I'm not used to all this walking. I put this on my legs. So, and you, of course, you can put it on your back or wherever, but... Um, I actually, my tip is, if we are going to Disney or somewhere where it's hours and hours and hours of walking, I put this on my legs before we even go. I save half of it. So, I've had, like, I have, like, four or five of these. Sometimes I'll bring a big bottle um, of any kind, any brand. This is just a sample of what I have, Blue Stop Max. But um, I put it on my legs before we leave, and then when we get home... I usually take an Espen salt bath, and then when I get out, I put this on my legs again and take ibuprofen. That's my trick. 
And then I have, um, so I have little baggies and I got these little baggies. They came with three different colors, blue, pink, and, um, green. I got them at Daiso, you guys, but you can find little baggies anywhere. And all that's in here is just different size band-aids. So I'm not going to open it up and show you, but it's just different size band-aids. And then this little baggie you can find at, um, Dollar Tree, and it's one of those where you can measure, you know, one cup, three-fourths cup. And what's in here is, um, you know, a towelette, but there's also, let me show you guys. There's some alcohol pads. I picked these up at um, Dollar Tree a big box of them, but you can find these anywhere for on the cheap. And this um, was in my first aid kit. I have a few, but it's um, Clots Blood Fast. So I'm assuming I've never opened it, um, but I'm assuming you just pour it. If, if you get a cut and you're bleeding, you pour this on it and it clots the blood. That's what I'm assuming. And this is just... Um, a towelette that was in my first aid that I had plenty of. So I packed that and, and I didn't pack a bunch, you guys, because a lot of times you probably aren't going to need, you know, a lot of this stuff, but it's, it's better to be safe than sorry. That's my motto. These are, um, blister, blister, um, I don't know exactly what they're called, but you put them on your heels. Like if you have shoes that are rubbing and I have had that problem. Actually, when we were traveling with, um, I was pregnant with Frankie. And I, first of all, when we travel, sometimes even on the airplane or car ride, sometimes my feet swell. Um, sometimes they swell really bad. And so um, shoes obviously are rubbing up against because my feet are swollen. And I will get blisters on my heels blisters on my toes. It's crazy. So I've just learned to always carry, you know, some kind of blister. I mean, you can use band-aids too, but these are actually ones that you can put on the heel of your foot. And I got them free in the mail. So I just put them in this little baggie and I have them just in case. Now we've made our way to the middle pocket. And this is basically just medicines that I have. So... The first one I have is ibuprofen. I always put the milligram. And I um my my thing is I kind of put like about three days worth. Now since these are 200 milligrams, sometimes I will take 600 milligrams. So sometimes I'll take three. But um I made it to where it was um, you know, so there's three. That's one day, two day, three day, four day. Um, but yeah, I always take ibuprofen, especially just for to help with swelling, things like that. So I've got ibuprofen in there. I also have melatonin, five milligram. It's the gummies. I get these at the Dollar Tree, but sometimes it is very hard um, to sleep, even for the kids. Um, sometimes me. So I always carry, you know, cup, uh, three days worth of melatonin. These are Pepto-Bismol chewables. So you're supposed to chew uh, two at a time. My husband always, always gets a messed up stomach because when we're on vacation, eating different foods, um, he's the one I carry these for. But um, my family's just used to my cooking. And, you know, when we go on vacation, yes, like we make sandwiches. and But we do always go out to eat at least one meal a day outside food and the others we eat inside the resort or hotel or wherever my husband gets jacked up my family's just used to me so um i carry those if you'd like to see the packaging those are only um, a couple dollars the off brand they do have the name brand it will be in my empties coming up you'll see the box i got them at family dollar that particular one for a couple bucks but um, they have the off-brand everywhere. You can even find them on Amazon. And then, of course, they have the real brand Pepto. The next item I have is some Tylenol. This is 500 milligram. And as you can see, this is just the off-brand one. But um, 
yeah, I got a couple days worth or a few days worth there. And then obviously Tums. It's always good to have some Tums on hand. And a laxative. And then I even put the directions because this is not something we take all the time. So I put two one time a day um, if needed. I only have a, uh, you know, three days worth. But, um, yeah, I wanted to put some because you never know if somebody gets, you know, you know. And then I usually carry Benadryl uh, pills in here. But I looked once I had expired in 2017. So I had to pull those out of my first aid kit. Um, because, again, it's stuff that we don't, you know, use all the time. I got these free in the mail. And I just wanted some kind of allergy medicine in here. Um, never tried this brand. But it's a name brand. And it already comes kind of packaged. So, um, oh, there's a coupon inside. Anyways, always carry some kind of allergy medicine um, as well. And that's it, you guys. That is my first aid kit, my emergency kit, my travel first aid kit. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Bye, guys.